So this is going to be a very fast video showing you how to very easily blend shapes inside Adobe Illustrator. So with that being said, let's just get going. So first up, you're going to want to go over to your toolbar and select a shape from the shape menu that you want to use. I'm going to select the ellipse tool. And I saw this by clicking and holding over the rectangle tool. So I'm going to select that. And also it's helpful to make sure you don't have a fill currently active. So just select the fill in the toolbar, go to the lower right where there's an option that looks like a white box with a red diagonal line that'll say none. When you hover over it, just click that. So next up, I'm going to draw a circle to use for my blend. And then I'm going to select the black arrow or the selection tool and click and hold alt on a PC or option on a Mac. And then just drag this off to the side, which will duplicate that initial shape. And then with the same selection tool, you want to highlight over both of the objects and then go to object. And from object, you want to go to blend. And right now mine says make, cause I've done this before, but yours will probably only show you blend options. So you need to click on that. And from blend options, I tend to use specified steps. And the number that you put here will be the number of objects that are blended between your two original objects. Alternatively, you can do specified distance, which will specify the distance between each and every object. So that is an, a different way you can go about it. But I'm just gonna do this with specified steps and I'll hit five for my first attempt here and hit okay. And as you can see, doing that didn't do anything. So you have to go back to object and then from object, you have to go to blend and from blend, you have to go to make. And in this case, the shortcut is alt control B on a PC or option control B on a Mac. So I'm going to hit that and you can see that it just blended all these shapes together in a very easy way. And a cool thing that you can also do within this menu is go back to object and then blend. And then this time go to blend options, which now you can see there is a preview box button that is unchecked. So if I press that, and change this number to something like eight. Well, actually I shouldn't have pressed that first. I'll just turn that on and off. You can see it in real time, how it will look with a different number of objects blended between there. So if I go to four and then just toggle this on and off to see it, it does that all in real time. And another cool thing about these blends is that they are totally live. So if I go over to the direct selection tool, which looks like a white arrow and I modify one of these points, well, if I just click on a specific anchor to select it and modify it, you can see that it blends like that in real time. So this is a live effect, not a one and done kind of thing. So you can go in and modify it and make it look different as you sort of see fit. So for the stacked example, I built that in pretty much the exact same way. So I'm just going to draw two of these circles on top of each other. And I'm going from the center point of my original circle and then holding alt on a PC or option on a Mac while also holding shift to create a second circle that is perfect from the center of the original one. And then I can just go and select both of these again with the selection tool, go back to object and then blend. And since we already set the blend options before they'll be remembered and then I can hit make. So this is a very fast way to make some pretty awesome looking effects. And like I showed before, you can also change this at any point in time by just changing the numbers that you have set. And of course, as in the above example, it looks even cooler on this example. If I use the direct selection tool, select a specific anchor point on the outermost circle, and then just drag that in and then do the same exact thing on this bottom one, which creates a pretty cool looking effect. And then you just have to try to measure these up in a pretty similar way. And this effect also works if you use totally different objects. So if I draw a circle as my starting point, and then I draw a square coming out from that, and then I go to select both these with a selection tool, go to object and then blend and then make, you can see that it blends the square slowly but surely into a more circular object until we get to the circle in the middle. This actually looks almost like a pyramid that has a circular shape at the top. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's really fast and easy to go in here and make blends. And because it's a live effect, you can then customize it a ton to make some really cool and interesting stuff that might look a little bit more interesting and unexpected. 
So if you found this video to be helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to like the video and let me know that it was helpful to you. Also, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section. And if you want to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing. I do my best to keep creating new content just like this. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.